Hey, what's up guys? So I'm gonna make a second video kind of to um, continue our left off on the last after creating your uh, Kali light, switching it to Kali full, and then updating, upgrading your distribution um, into the rolling version instead of Kali 2.0. So, um, to make a little caveat, so after you did the sudo app dash get install Kali Linux dash full, um, you can also do this command right here to get the GNOME 3 desktop, which is the default desktop in Kali. It doesn't really matter, but I prefer using the GNOME 3 desktop. Also, what I didn't mention earlier was, let's go back to Kali.org, let me see. Download. So in my previous video I said to look for the 64-bit version, but that wasn't true. So you need to get the version that is depending on your system. So if you have a 32-bit system, then you want to get the 32-bit light version. If you have a 64-bit system, you want to get the 64-bit light. So that's the only thing I wanted to say. Now we're going to get into installing VirtualBox on Kali Linux, uh, full or light, doesn't matter. So what a lot of people are running into is an issue, and I made a screenshot after downloading an older version, um, where it says, fail to start LSB VirtualBox uh, Linux kernel module. And um, it's pretty much saying that your uh, Linux headers are not installed, etc., etc. So the way I fixed that problem, one, first, um, so, my bad, I kind of got lost in tracking. So, Kali Linux currently has the 4.9.0 Kali 4 packages and not the Kali 3 packages. So, when you had an older version and you didn't update and upgrade, then it's still telling you that it's unable to find the Kali 3 uh, packages and kernel packages. So, again, if you haven't done it yet, you need to do, uh, you need to update and you also need to upgrade the system to install the new kernel and then reboot um, to use the new kernel and then what you want to do after that after updating and upgrading and going through all that to even use VirtualBox you want to type in apt-get install linux-headers-amd64 so for a 64-bit version and that should uh, fix all the header issues for you and the kernel issues as well as if you haven't installed VirtualBox yet you want to type in app-get install VirtualBox hit enter you might need to reboot restart your system however after doing this you should not run into any issues anymore and you should have VirtualBox in your system tools in Kali Linux and uh, it should run properly and yeah so that's that's a big issue that I saw on the internet that's a big issue that I had at some point I hope I could help you with this if you still have issues um, getting VirtualBox to install or run on Kali Linux just uh, comment on the video and let me know what the issues are and I'm gonna help you out trying to fix your problem anyways that concludes my video and thank you for watching